Alright, uh, this is just going to be a quick video on some of the pairings I have for this season. Uh, first of all, uh, this is an 05 Citrus Pastel male who is breeding his 08 uh, Blackback daughter. Um, he's also a Blackback. Uh, it's just kind of hard to tell since there's so much blushing. Uh, so yeah, he's pretty nice. Um, he looks a little dull. He, I think he's going to shit, probably, but... Yeah, it's just, just kind of trying to see what happens with this clutch, you know. Might, might do something cool, might not. You know, I'm just going to see. But uh, citrus pastels are always nice, so... You know, even if there's nothing fancy with the uh, black backs or hidden gene, whatever is going on with that, uh, this will be a nice clutch. If she goes, uh, I really hope she goes, that'd be cool. Here we've got an 09 Super Vanilla male who's breeding an 08 Normal Female. So uh, this could make more vanillas if she goes. Uh, that'd be nice also. Vanillas are a great morph. And uh, the Supers are just amazing. Alright, uh, this here is a fire female who has been locking with my fire male. Um, so if I'm lucky and she goes, this could uh, make some black eyed leucistics, which has always been a goal of mine to make one of those snakes. Uh, they're just so cool. So yeah, really hope she goes. That'd be awesome. Down here we've got an, a, uh, a fire male breeding a pewter female. Uh, the fire's in shed. He doesn't look too great, but the pewter just shed. She looks really cool. Uh, so I really hope she goes. This is probably my most exciting uh, clutch that I could possibly get this year. I make all kinds of really cool stuff with that one, so uh, super excited for this female. Really hope she goes. And uh, yeah. And lastly, we've got this uh, O2 normal female. She weighs about 4,000 grams and uh, she's gone off food and soaking a lot sitting on the cool side. Uh, you can see she's kind of starting to build so she should ovulate here pretty soon and then um, should lay a clutch of eggs. Uh, she's been breeding the super vanilla so um, if the eggs are good and if they hatch that should be 100% vanillas out of that clutch, so yeah, uh, once again, vanillas are always great. So, yeah, that's all my breeders. Um, quick little update on my new additions I got in Houston. Got the pastel vanilla, doing great. She's eating super well. I just love this snake. Yeah, that's kind of the example of what the vanilla can do when mixed with just a pastel. That's awesome. And uh, quick little one of the stinger bee while I'm at it. She's doing great. That's just that's an awesome snake. So yeah.